Andres here and the next band up is a band from France called Angel Or. They have two albums out and they're listed as symphonic, atmospheric, gothic doom. They have a lot of elements so let's dig into the two albums. The first one is this one here, Errance. This one opens, seduces you with a uh, sorrow right away with a song called Dans les Valets Eternal Ne. This is a very harmonious tone throughout with some stunning keyboards and leads to just have so much beauty and soul to them and the song uh, does a great job of uh, amping up the tempo towards the end that I really enjoy. This is a great opening track and then you go into a song like Tears of Snow. This has a very alluring beginning with this fantastic atmosphere then you get this squall of life that comes out uh, in and out of the song quickly like a whiteout almost exploiting a lot of range of emotions and atmospheres and tears of snow this is another great one and my favorite track off the album has to be this next song I'll mention I Am The Agony this is the tale of two songs with these punishing chords and beastly drums uh, that just really dictate around the first half and then you go into the, uh, the clean vocals that are poetically sung with the piano tone that just project this passion into the music. This has such an addictive melody. I really enjoy I Am The Agony. Definitely a song I hope you guys check out. Another one I really enjoy. This one has a lot of visualization for me, I really felt. This is Where Roses Never Die. This I visualized Lady Death sort of dancing around where um, everything around her was bright and alive. That was the visualization I got from the atmosphere of this song. Angel Lord does a great job of really projecting a lot of emotion coming through their music like that. And uh, again, the piano tone just dominates the, this track. They, it's a, such a beautiful keyboard work in this one as well. Shades of Sorrow is, has might have one of the most uh, soulful melodies I've ever heard. I really enjoy this with great vocals, great lyrics, and the drums really certainly add a lot, I find, with the, the subtleties of what the drums does. I love the little snare that the, goes on through this track, and I really feel like it complements the keyboards and riffs perfectly. The Arance is a, is a really great first album, but they get even stronger with the next one here, La Litanie des Sondes. This one um, has a really special creative things to it. They have these picture and lyric sort of uh, pieces here as well as this one I'm going to show you. Captain Witchfingers is going to show you a couple of these uh, little cards here with the pictures and lyrics on them. But this uh, La Litany de Song opens up with a shroud of cloud and this sort of kicks off for you guys with this goth, a bit of a gothic surge. Oops. The gothic surge there with uh, the music literally painting a visual of a shroud of clouds with the, uh, uh, the angelic moments that and captivating moments throughout this track. I love the sudden shifts in atmosphere though. With this scenic flow with the two leads around halfway, they waltz nicely, peacefully, and the ambience just ascends to this romantic finale with the spiritual ascension through this track. Um, there's overall this uh, it's a longer track and they do a great job of filling it up with a uh, wonderful clean and harsh vocals and an absolute hypnotically sung lyrics they're just addictive and they're fantastic definitely a track i hope you guys check out shroud of clouds as well as still glowing ashes this is great for those beauty and the beast fans you got the vocal battle of the beauty and the beast, the harsh and tranquility that are so predominant with such uh, moments of beauty and intensity throughout this track. It's another fantastic one. But another one that stood out to me really, really well, I love the, this one and its harmony is inertia. This lulls you into an astral grasp that holds you like a universal gauntlet of despair with the duet of uh, clean vocals sort of holding you, uh, holding your heart and the keyboards and leads containing your soul. Then you got the rhythm and the drums that uh, really, I think, uh, what would I say, stalling space and time as you float through the celestial sky. I really enjoy what uh, this song paints. The music just and the vocals just come to life in inertia. And like I said before, Angel Lore does a tremendous job of that. One song I want to mention a little bit is Moonflower. This is an 18 minute track. But I don't want to talk about it because I believe if I give too much away here, it's going to give away a special 20 minute track on their next album coming up. So I'm going to let you uh, simmer on Moonflower. Go ahead and listen to this 18 minute track. It really holds your attention uh, for sure. I really feel like Angel Lord, you hear them evolve from the first album to the second album to the third album, which I've been 
um, fortunate to hear uh, early. Thank you to uh, Angel Lore for giving me that. So I've broken down that. That third album, Rien de Deve Mori, is uh, an exquisite album, which I'll bring to you guys shortly in the new year. But before I go, I want to show you this special uh, cutout album art from La Litany de Song. This has, is the album with the Shroud of Clouds and everything, and this uh, has all the pictures and, and, and stuff. But this, this is fantastic. I love how creative Angel Lore got with this. This is, this is absolutely brilliant in my opinion. I think they did a, a fantastic job of really delivering something unique and different. And their music is like that too. Everything these guys do is unique and creative. I, I've so attached to this, their music of, of, of late and, and I can't wait to talk to you guys about the upcoming album. So stay tuned for that one. Subscribe to my channel so you stay tuned to that one. I think I'm pressing the sticker. I think his finger's pointing at it for me there. So subscribe to my channel for more Angel Lore. My year end video with my top uh, three and then and so on. But I, I'm going on. But uh, this and Angel Lore, I really enjoy them. I have this fantastic shirt. Thanks to them as well. So until next time folks, heavy listening.